Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today we actually got um, a few things, uh, well not today, but uh, last night we got a couple things actually sorted out. Uh, there was that merchant that was, I think they're still here, and we were able to get, at an expense of some rough, or um, aged wine and stuff, a blacksmithing, uh, station, so we can actually build swords and stuff like that now, um, as well as dismantle items inside, which is good. We just need to finish a couple more of these things in order to get this whole building, uh, set up properly, but, uh, we should be able to get some lights and stuff in here now. I'm gonna go ahead with some iron ones, some iron standing ones. We'll see if we can, um alternate these like that maybe uh, that way the door is still available uh, might be able to put some stuff in the corners I'm not sure we'll figure it out but uh, it's nice having a little forge there now which is gonna look a lot better and it's aligned with the um, the chimney that we made so that's good uh, we should get um, north or someone now that there's not a lot of farming to go hunt some, um, what was it, um, wolves and stuff. So we might send Sylvester and North, wherever North is, to do that. Actually, where is North? Might be digging, maybe? Nope. I don't know where he is. He's apparently praying. There he is. Alright, so we'll send a couple people out there to deal with the wolves and stuff. There's quite a few of them back here. There's, I did see a wolf, uh, fox or two as well. So we'll see if we can't get um, a couple people over there. And what about this Cleo? Release, train, or kill. So let's see. Where's Sylvester? Is he praying? It's still pretty early morning, I think, so. Ah, there's Sylvester. He is getting resources for construction. So we'll go ahead and we'll set up him. And wherever North took off to again. I'm not sure where he went. Oh, there he is. Alright. You two. Um...
All right, so we're currently at day 11. So we're almost in winter now, uh, which will last another 12 days. But um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We got um, a couple things. I, I noticed that we still haven't unlocked cooking. And um, we, we unlocked something else, I think. I can't remember what, but um, we should still unlock cooking because it gives us uh, lavish meals and allows us to progress a little bit more. So if we go in here, uh, you can see we, we unlock um, a few other things, actually, and the next tier. So we get uh, preserving food, which is good for traveling and stuff. Uh, we get chemistry, which is third tier. And then we get uh, brewing, which allows us to brew a whole bunch of stuff as well. Uh, it's like the next tier of um, fermenting, basically. So fermenting, we get like wine and stuff like that. Um, I think some other particular stuff, but we can actually ferment it. And then there's brewing, which allows us to make, you know, different types of um, alcoholic beverages and stuff. Uh, so after that, uh, I think there's a few other things like distilling and painting that we get from chemistry as well. So that's kind of the end goal. So it's cooking is a really important one to unlock. Um, after that, I think what we'll start working on is probably rug making, possibly, or infirmary, infirmary which will take 45. Um, those are pretty good for late game, so I'm not too worried about it right now. They'll go to a bed still and heal up there, so it's not like it's a huge issue. There's not any really any benefit until we get to um, unlocking one of the furniture types. I can't remember which one. I think it's way up back here. No, not that one. Decorative was it? Or I can't remember what tab it was under. Oh, I think it's actually chemistry, isn't it? Uh, chemistry... Yeah, we get the uh, med medicine shelf. And that will allow us to actually select the proper type of room, which gives us the bonus for the infirmary. But at the moment, we don't have the ability to do that. So that's like level 3 end game kind of thing. So, Alright, but we do have a lot of uh, things that I need to work on today. I wanted to get um, some of these... Uh, building set up so we can dismantle some of those and move some of these torches. Uh, we'll dismantle those two things and then we'll start putting in uh, some other stuff. Now, why is there a hat here? Oh, yeah, that's right, because... Um
Alrighty then, so I put in a path along here. I figured we could put maybe some houses or something along this side. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with. I don't know if there's enough room to really put one, but we might be able to expand out a little bit more and do something like that. Um, it might take a little bit of extra resources to build a proper um, thing, extension over to this part and we'll have to mine that out and put something else up somewhere so they can get down there but um well actually we'll be flooding that in won't we so uh that won't be a huge issue i still have to figure out um how to do that i don't know how to uh actually open up the admin tools to be able to do that but they said uh the developer said in their videos that you are able to add water to your existing maps it's just that they won't generate or update the existing maps with water so new worlds will like new maps will just not older ones which is a little unfortunate but i can understand why it would be a bad idea to do that so um it could end up flooding entire settlements and people could lose a lot of um precious work that they've done like what we've done so imagine if that was all underwater we would have like a really hard time trying to figure out a solution to that so it's probably best for them to allow people to add it themselves i just noticed there's two foxes over here oh we'll have to uh hunt those tomorrow i think but um yeah outside of that um is there anything that they're having around for some reason or actually is that or mineable or oh it just barely is isn't it that's good all right good to know uh, i just wondered because it was right near the edge of the map and i'm going hmm i don't know if we can actually mine that that would be kind of pointless but it looks like it might be just in reach i think a lot of ore doesn't generate before it did but I'm not seeing any actual ore generating next to the map, so I don't know if it was just a really lucky seed or... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any actually generating, so that might be a new thing. That's pretty cool. Alright, so... Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I've been just kind of upgrading the houses and stuff and getting them have better lights and um, brazers as well, so they look kind of like that now. Which looks a lot better than the uh, wooden ones but um, we still have quite a few houses to work on uh, that one this one and that one and I think that one over there as well
it's officially winter now, and uh, we got quite a bit of stuff that we need to still build. But um, I'm thinking about building over onto this side, and then when we do expand out uh, this little area right here, what we'll be able to do is we can kind of fence it off a little bit further down and then this way and then we'll have even more room to actually build so um one of the other things that i'm kind of working on is to kind of mine out the parts here just so it's kind of symmetrical and then we can put another bridge eventually over onto this side and then we'll have even more room um for structures and farms and stuff that we need uh this will be actually a good place for the farm at the moment i'm putting a path through it um just because it does get a quite a bit of sunlight in the morning and um we can always do another farm on the other side uh for uh, that as long as we give some buffer room between the buildings on this side, uh, it will still get sunlight during the evening, which will be an optional thing because there's this river in between. So I'm trying to design it in a way where it will, um, you know, be good for both of that. So, and uh, we'll have to fill this in. And I think I'm not entirely sure. So this is that level. And then we have one level underneath. So I think if we want to, I'm not sure because we might have to figure out a better solution of going underneath the uh, part here, but I can't really remember how deep that we need it. So we might need to go a little bit deeper if we go expand this way, we might need to go down a little bit and then under a little bit more, but um, we can always expand forward quite a bit too. So, and if we have to, then we can kind of branch out this way, I guess, and we can eventually move the forges and just have something there instead that's not so intensive for heat-wise, but um, I'm not too worried about it. Our storage is not that big at the moment. We got tons of food um, to last us pretty much an entire year, I think, or at least until a couple seasons for sure. So it should be good for um, what we need at the moment. But outside of that, uh, I think we got quite a bit of stuff done. I, Like I said, I started getting that path done, and uh, we got that forge pretty much built. Uh, brought, got some iron in. We also replaced uh, some of the torches in some of the rooms, as well as the bra brazers. So everyone's going to be pretty happy now. So outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.